YouTube family. Sorry about my face being so red. Chad and I have been working outside today. And uh, I've done my front porch makeover for the summer and the patriotic seasons and 4th of July and Labor Day. And uh, I'll be sharing that later on in a video as well. But today I'm gonna be making a um, charcuterie board for Chad and I to just nosh on or snack on. Some people will call it a grazing table. You can do, I've seen huge elaborate ones where people will do the whole table. And those are really nice for like wedding receptions even or a party or something. And I love that kind of thing. But I'm gonna take you along with me. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on those bell notifications and thank you for watching. So I'm gonna probably do a time lapse of me getting it ready and I'll be moving things around and then I'll stop it and explain to you what all I got, okay? finished with our charcuterie. Um, I love this. I think I love cheeses and um, snack meats and things like that. And I just think this looks so elegant, but yet easy. It was very easy to do. But I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna show you what I've got, okay? I have some Havarti with dill cheese, some club crackers wrapped around it. And I just done it sort of like a little waterfall some dried apricots, some white and uh, milk chocolate Lindor truffles, a little bowl of cashews, a little bowl of bl uh, seedless blackberry jam, some uh, cherry tomatoes, some roasted garlic and herb cheese spread, a little bowl of Kalamata olives, some pretzel crisp, some slices of Genoa salami, over here on this, we have some Parmesan crisp, some honey, some grapes, some Gouda cheese, some prosciutto with mozzarella, wrapped in mozzarella, or mozzarella wrapped prosciutto, um, more pretzel crisp and club crackers, and the tomatoes and dried apricots and truffles. Now to go with that, I'll put this off on another thing is I have some, um, non-roasted garlic and it looks great. I think this would be really good. So I think I'm gonna serve that with it. And I also have some baguettes. I may toast one of those, some slices and put it here too. Cause I think that's really good with like um, the honey and the jam, that type of thing. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. It was really easy to do a charcuterie board, so I hope you'll do it. Uh, you can use anything for a charcuterie board. Like I said, you can just put it on your table. You can use a plate, and they can be of all different sizes. I mean, basically, if you've got cheese and meat and crackers, you've got a charcuterie. You can do, uh, my son and his wife do charcuterie with their little girl, and they'll make a snack tray, basically. And they will have like Oreos, raisins, cheese, uh, crackers, and the meats, and, um, 
carrot sticks, celery sticks. I mean, it's endless the things that you can do with charcuterie. So I hope that you'll try it. Thank you for watching. I thank you for your support. And um, please think about subscribing if you haven't. And God bless you and you have a great day. Bye.